Well, hello again, everybody. It's your pal in the mainstream media, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the hottest new show on the internet, Talking Mayhem Mania. We had another gangbuster round of maneuvers as we work to uh, turn our card into something reputable. Um, we're trying to build a better WrestleMania card for all of mankind. Uh, we're trying to outdo Vince, baby, and uh, I think we're doing a hell of a job. Um, not seen on this uh, pizza box lid is uh, the one match that graduated, uh, thanks to Jackson Argos. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens is on the uh, Mayhem Mania Supercard. Uh, so that's one down. We can fill up to eight on the Supercard, so we're looking for some more car, more uh, matches that'll survive. Let's bring in our guest this week, all the way up from Poughkeepsie, New York. Uh, he loves to hate Mad Mike. Hey, Mike, what's up? Hi, Matt. How you doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic. What do you think of uh, first? Let's talk about um, the prizes tonight for uh, for Jackson. Um, well, obviously he created a match to fill the slot left by the one that graduated. What did you think about the leading Ryback from Mayhem Mania? Uh, <laughs> well, this may be a little inside Mayhem Mania, but uh, I was in the chat room with Jackson Argus, and I suggested gently. Because I knew Dan Hooven was on tonight. I said, hey, if you can eliminate someone, why not Ryback? <laughs> you, know, you know what? I was I was having the same thought, but I couldn't get to my phone. So good job by you. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because god damn, we need Ryback off the card. Because that was I mean, yeah, you know what? And and you know, good on Jackson to recognize that. That was a money move. And uh, that was pretty an awesome move. And uh, I saw Hooven's heart just sink the moment that that happened. So poor sad Hooven. But I wish but awesome we, I wish we had Jackson. that on video. Yeah, I, I, I'll never forget that. That was that was very special. Um, and then, um, and what, what did you think of uh, the first punishment uh, that we uh, that poor Santana Diamonds had to face? Must use Canadian wrestler. The problem with oh. that, Mike, is that there are a lot of Canadian wrestlers already on the card. That makes yeah, it a little I, tricky. And then he turns his honestly, back on Chris Jericho. I think, honestly, punishment was a little light. Punishment was a little light? Well, punishment, gonna... punishment was a little late. I would have said you have to use an, a South American wrestler. We say you have to use someone from Quebec or someone like that, you know? <laughs> or no, or I, w- I would have like, gone in an obscure country. Now, um, like, you have, like you have to use a, an... Or you have to use a UK wrestler. Yeah. Well, I won't lie. Um... We try to take it easy on the newbies because uh, we want them to come back and, and be willing I to play guess. some more so for Santana. But you know what? I thought he and Corey both played very nicely. And, you know, compared to all the hell they raised during the rest of the Wrestling Mayhem show tonight, I thought they were extremely well behaved during Mayhem Mania. And I want to salute all three all three of them and Hooven for, uh, for their fantastic and uh, creative matches that they were making tonight. Um, yes, once once we got the Mike Adam Lee uh, pop out of the way. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but I tell you what, the Alex Cars rule is going to be in effect. Um, now, uh, now, Matt, on, on, on can you remind case. me what the Alex Cars the rule is? The Alex does? Cars rule states, if you create a match during a round of Mayhem Mania, and it does not make it even to the end of the round, basically, if you make a match and someone follows you and changes your match before it even gets to the end of the round, you get an automatic invitation back for next week. So let's take a look at who the Alex Carr's role applies to this week. Uh, first of all, Undertaker versus Finn Balor, the match created by Jackson Argus, did not make it all the way through the round. <laughs> Corey Futuristic added Goldberg. So we are, under the Alex Carr's role, obligated to invite Jackson back next week <laughs> to play yet again. Uh, now, of course, you know, invitations can be declined, but under the Alex Carr's rule, we are obligated to invite him also. Um, we had this uh, match here, the Styles versus Nakamura match. Okay, here's what happened here. This got out of hand. Okay, first, Bobby <laughs> FJ Town comes in, adds Sami Zayn. Okay, then Hooven comes in, s- kills Nakamura, brings in Elias Sampson. Then Santana Diamonds comes in, gets rid of Sami Zayn, inserts Tyler Breeze. Alex Carr's rule applies to Bobby and Hooven. That's three applications of the Alex Cars rule in one round. I think it's unprecedented. I'm not sure I want to invite Hooven back again, but the rules are the rules, Mike. <laughs> well, I mean, I would say that you can forego the rules for this first week because 
the rule was not explained to them. The rules are the rules. The rules have been in place since last year. And I, yeah, I they, am the rule maker, so I can make and break the rules however I want. It's my okay. game. So that that this is a fair point. I feel obligated to invite them. I, I honestly I'm glad you reminded me of the Alex Cars rule because I completely forgot about it. Yes. Well it's only fair. You know. But then Alex Cars was in an endless cycle of coming back though, because <laughs> He was creating some incredible matches. So, wait, um, are we saying Jackson Argos is this year as Alex Cars? Uh, uh, Jackson Argos is this year's Eamon, basically. Eamon was playing the game either last year or the year before. He was on, like, another level. Like, he was, like, <laughs> coming back around on people and, like, doubling up and, like, controlling people's minds. He was on another level. And Jackson has no doubt he's been on another level. I, I, I said earlier that I thought Bobby F. J. Town was the MVP of Mayhem Mania, but I am wrong. Jackson Argos is the MVP of Mayhem Mania. He's running shop right now. He is killing everybody, and uh, I'm in awe. He's a rookie. He's never done this before. His first match graduated, and now he's coming right back again. He's getting invited back again to do some more. It's unbelievable. Um, now, 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 Matt, Matt, you, you teased during the show that there was a Canadian that could have been used. There was one. In my opinion, and I have the benefit of actually being able to research, and I actually had a short list of Canadian wrestlers just in case Santana got stumped um, and he decided to use Tyler Breeze. But I'll, I'll run down some of the other names on my list of Canadian wrestlers, and I'll tell you about the money move that, uh, that, that Santana didn't get a chance to use because I didn't get to this name. But, uh, okay, yeah, Tyler Breeze. Um, the Bollywood Boys are Canadian. Perhaps you didn't know that. You could have worked them into that in the tag team match. Um, Ty Dillinger, obviously, Jericho, Jinder Mahal, that blew everybody's mind. Um, Bobby Roode, Natalia, they were all getting, um, Natalia's not getting used, but Roode was getting used. Owens is already in a graduated match. Um, Aaliyah is Canadian in NXT. Um, okay. Maurice is Canadian. Um, that obviously but Maurice already is already booked. Match. Maurice is already booked. Victor from the Ascension is Canadian. <laughs> and get this. Akum from the Authors of Pain is Canadian. Ooh. My move, if I had been playing, my move would have been to swap out the um, the soft ass New Day, and I would have swapped in Samoa Joe and the Authors of Pain against the Shield. That would have been my move if I had been forced to use their babies. Wrestling. But that would have been <laughs> awesome. It would have been like three stages of of Samoan um, submission machine. It would have been great. So. Wait, I, I'm pretty sure if you if you put the Authors of Pain with someone, it has to be someone that represents Shredder. I don't know if that would necessarily be Samoa Joe. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know if Nash is able. He might be. Oh, oh, oh! We did it! Yes, Kevin Nash, <laughs> Akeman Razor! Oh my god! Oh my god! Can we book him? Can we book them against Steve the Turtle Wiener? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, what? Ninja Turtles versus Shredder! <laughs> Do you not know Steve the Turtle Wiener? No, I guess. you don't oh. know Steve the Turtle Wiener. I played Connect Four with him at Shikara. Oh, after this show, after this show, you need to educate one Matt Carlins. I'm looking forward. There to will that. be a lesson. All right, one last thing before we go. Um, this just came to me, and I want to thank Corey Futuristic for throwing this out there at the very end of the Wrestling Mayhem show. I have an idea. We're gonna have a contest, okay, between now and Fast Lane. And anyone who wants to enter the contest can enter the contest. You don't even have to do an actual move in Mayhem Mania, but you can enter the contest anytime between now and Fastlane. Um, and the winner of the contest will get to hand out a dose of punishment to anyone they want, okay? After, uh, on the Mayhem show after Fastlane. Uh, the Tuesday after Fastlane. I think I know Whoever wins the contest this. will be able to come in and hand out a dose of punishment in addition to whatever happens with graduated matches or not. Here's the contest. Guess the total time of the Goldberg Kevin Owens match at Fastlane. <laughs> Closest without going over gets the handout punishment. Oh. <laughs> Matt, Matt, yes, I love it. Now wait, hold on, hold on. Does not count entrances correctly. We're gonna go Does with the official match time. We're gonna go and you know after the match is over, we're gonna go bell, um, bell to bell. Bell, bell to, to bell. bell. Yeah, bell to bell. Okay. Closest without going over, bell to bell. Oh, my God. Sorg and I will be sitting I, there with our stopwatches. <laughs> I love this idea. It's going to be great. I, I love this idea so hard. And we got like three weeks till fast lane. A lot of time for people to make their entries. Um, so, yeah, make an entry. And if you get it, then you get to hand out a dosha punishment. And oh. believe me, the really good punishment ideas are still to come. So it will... 
guaranteed it will be something awesome. Um, because oh, like I said, we 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 themed it a little bit this week for in honor of Jackson with the Canadians. So uh, believe me, we've already got a jar of the unloved already in the works. So it's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So uh, a jar of the unloved sounds like the worst Valentine's Day movie ever. I know. Well, that was kind of my backup plan. <laughs> 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 All right, Matt and Mike, thank you very much for joining us this week. I appreciate you uh, coming on with us. It was my pleasure, Matt Carlin. The Carl, pleasure thank you for was all mine. Thank you, everyone, for watching Talking Mayhem Mania. Go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com to catch up on all the shenanigans. And uh, join us next Tuesday night for another round. And until then, stay mayhemy.